You guys, welcome back. Streaks of sunlight are stretching over the trees, casting dancing shadows in my home. The air is thick and warm, and it reminds me of my short time in Cambodia many years ago. Today, I'll be making prahok kati, a creamy Cambodian dipping sauce so savory and umami, and it goes great with crunchy vegetables. If you're new to my channel, welcome and thank you for watching. I do a bit of Southeast Asian cooking and gardening on this channel. Don't forget to give this video a like and say hi in the comments. For those of you who follow me on Instagram, I've used my kaffir lime tree so much that it's down to just one leaf. I was preparing to say goodbye to this one, but I'm happy to say that it's making a comeback. Let's get started. To start, we need to make grung, which is an herb paste and the base flavor of many Cambodian dishes. These are the aromatics that will make up the grung. and some dried guajillo peppers. I ended up using three in total here. We'll need to remove the seeds. Add some hot water to rehydrate and soften them up. Let them sit for about 10 minutes. We'll pound it up into a coarse paste later. This is pea eggplant, also known as turkey berry. They're the crunchiest variety of eggplants and have a vegetal, slightly grassy, and slightly bitter flavor, and really tasty too. It's gonna add a nice texture to the dip. This is brahok. Brahok is the heart and soul of Cambodian cuisine. It's fish that's been fermented in salt and water. Over time, the fish breaks down and develops a rich, complex umami flavor. Think of it as the way anchovies or cheese are used in cooking. To prepare it, I have to mince it up finely into a paste. I highly recommend cooking this outdoors or with all of your windows open because it's really pungent. Using hot water to collect all of the flavors 
and so that I can easily discard all of the solids, like the bones, which we don't want in the dip. I'll show you how in a bit. After about 10 minutes, the guajillo peppers are rehydrated and softened. It'll be easy to pound it into a coarse paste now. I'll be adding water to this mortar and pestle to collect the residual flavors in here and adding it into the dip in a later step. Let's fry up some dry chilies. It's going to infuse the oil with a nutty aroma. Set the fried chilies aside. We'll be using it soon. With the same oil used to fry the chilies, let's add in the guajillo pepper paste that was pounded earlier. In goes the krung. It smells incredible. In goes the meat. And the prahok. We just want the liquid, discard the solids. It's gonna impart a rich umami flavor. All of the aromatics used in the krung will help to reduce the smell and remove the fishiness of the prahok, leaving behind only the delicious flavors. Have all of your windows open, or try to cook outside if you can, because the smell is strong at first, but it does dissipate after everything is mixed together. some sugar to balance out the saltiness of the prahok. I'm adding in water that I used to collect the flavors from the mortar that I used to pound the guajillo peppers. There's lots of flavor in here. Chicken soup base mix powder. And some fish sauce. Now to make this dip creamy, coconut milk. goes the pea eggplant. We still want them to be a bit crunchy, but we just want them just a bit softer. Add the fresh and fried chilies. They'll slowly release their heat and fragrance and will make a nice spicy bite if you choose to eat one. 
some torn kofir lime leaves for some fragrance and flavor. A bit more water to allow this mixture to simmer longer. We want to reduce this dip till it thickens to this consistency here. Here we have it, brahokati, a creamy and savory dip. Serve with your favorite crunchy vegetables. I have eggplant, cabbage, and yardlong beans. Cucumbers would have been great too, and with a side of jasmine rice. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please give it a like and leave me a comment below. I'll see you in the next video. Be safe everyone.